Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do my August library book haul. So in the month of August, I picked up a total of 11 books from my local library. I did one of these hauls last month in July. I will link that video down below if you guys would like to check that out. But you guys really seem to like it, so I'm back to do another haul today. So, like I said, I picked up a total of 11 books from my local library this month, and I'm excited to show you guys all of them, so I'm going to jump right in and get started. So the first five books I picked up this month are all audiobooks, so the first three are all part of the same world, and they're by the same author, and you guys will see what I mean by that in a second. So the first one I, or the first two I picked up, I should say, are part of the same series, and those are City of Lost Souls and City of Heavenly Fire, which are books five and six in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. If you guys have seen any of my previous videos, especially back in July, I, I have been making my way slowly through the Mortal Instruments series as well as the entire Shadowhunter Chronicles world for about a month now. I read a majority of the books back when I was doing book two a thon, and I have had a love hate relationship with the series. I will be totally honest. My liking cat. When I started off, when I read City Bones, I really, really liked it. Then City Ashes really went downhill for me, and then I really liked City Glass, and then I read The Infernal Devices. I've read the first two books in that series so far. Those have been fantastic. And then I read City of Fallen Angels, which is book four. Didn't really enjoy that, and I will talk more about that in my wrap-up at the end of the month. But I am on City of Lost Souls, and the only reason I'm continuing on with the series is because the plot is so intriguing to me that I have been more interested so I'm hoping I continue will continue to like this uh, as I make my way through City of Lost Souls. I'm not very far into it right now but we'll see. <laughs> and then I have uh, City of Heavenly Fire which is a vital book in this series uh, to make my way through so really excited hopefully I'll get to this by the end of the week. And then rounding off the Shadowhunter world uh, audiobooks I have to talk about today I have Lady Midnight which is book one of the Dark Artifices series by Cassandra Clare. Again, uh, this is a spin-off of the Immortal Internet series, and this takes place, I believe, about 10 years or so after the Immortal Internet series. I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me on it, but I have been hearing fantastic things about the series. A lot of people say, are saying that this is better than the Immortal Internet series, which is making my hopes even higher, so I'm hoping to get to this by the e beginning of next week, hopefully. Um, and enjoy it as much as I have some of the other books. And then the last two audiobooks I picked up this month are also part of series, but they're, to again, totally different series than one another. So the first one is The Raven Boys by Maga Seawater. This is book one in the Raven Cycle Quartet. I actually have previously started this book. I started back in June, I believe, and I was really, really liking it at the time, but I had to return it to my library, so I never got the chance to finish it. So now I have another copy of it and I'm hoping I will enjoy it as much as I was when I first started reading it. And then the other audiobook I picked up was To All the Boys I've Loved Before, which is book one in the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series by Jenny Han. This is a YA contemporary series that follows our main character Laura Jean who has written letters to all the boys she's loved in the past but has obviously never told them, and she hides them in the box under her bed, but one day they get mysteriously sent out, and it takes off from there. This is a three-book series. I've been hearing fantastic about things about it. I know the last book just came out. I think it came out in June, but I could be wrong on that, and I've been wanting to pick it up for a while, so very excited to pick this up. And then moving on to some other books I picked up. So the first one I have here is the Fact of a Body, A Murder in a Memoir by Alexandria Moranzo Levinich. I am so sorry if I said that wrong. This is just what it says in the title. It is a murder mystery and a memoir about this author's life. She is a lawyer who has been working on, obviously, some cases. And she has been brought up to be against the death penalty. But one day, she is assigned to a case where she thinks that this man, who is a child molester, I believe, should receive the death penalty. I have been hearing fantastic things about this. My friend Lisa, uh, over at Books and Smile, she runs a book club, and this is one of her books of the month for this month, and I will link her channel as well as the Goodreads group down below. And she said that this book was fantastic, very hard to read, because I guess there's a lot of like really heartbreaking scenes to read. So that kept me intrigued, so I'm really excited to dive in. The next book I have to talk about is one of my most anticipated releases of this year. 
and that is Because You Love to Hate Me, which is an anthology edited by Anne Marie, um, which is all about villains. This features 13 authors. They were paired up with th uh, 13 booktubers. A lot of my favorite booktubers are actually part of this anthology. Um, and I'm very excited to dive in. I love a good villain story. It's just one of my favorite things to read about. So this just sounds right up my alley. The next one, kind of going back to the Shadowhunter train, is Clockwork Princess book 3 in the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. This is a I forgot to mention this earlier, but this is a prequel series to the Mortal Instruments. Um, it takes place in the 1800s. It takes place in London. Two of my favorite things to read about. So, this is the third and final book. I'm going to get to it soon. So excited. The next one is actually a graphic novel. Yes, I picked up a graphic novel, guys. It's official, and I've already uh, started reading it. And that book is Saga, Volume 1 by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. This is another really popular, or it's a very popular graphic novel series here on booktube. I've been hearing fantastic things about it. It is an adult science fiction novel with very graphic sex scenes, let me say that. Uh, I'm not very far into it, but so far I am really liking it, and I will tell you guys more of my thoughts at the end of the month. The next two, in the last two books I actually have to talk about are both Star Wars books. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. If you guys have seen any of my I think I've mentioned it in a couple of my Funko Pop uh, collection videos. I love Star Wars, so I picked up a couple of books to be, uh, that are taking place in that universe. The first one is another one of my most anticipated releases of this year. That book is called Ahsoka, and this is by E.K. Johnston. This, uh, Ahsoka Tano is one of my favorite characters in Star Wars. She is the apprentice of Anakin Skywalker, who is the man who becomes Darth Vader in the Star Wars movies, if you guys have ever seen those. If you haven't, please go watch them. They're fantastic. But she is a kick-ass female character. She's a Jedi, and this is kind of her story after um, something happens in the Clone Wars TV show, and I'm not going to say what. Um, I believe this is what happens to her after that happens. So, really excited to dive in. I, like, once again, this is one of my most anticipated releases of this year, so really, really, really excited. And the last book I have for this haul, again, sticking in the Star Wars universe, it's called Labyrinth of Evil. This is by James Lucino. This is a book that takes place between episodes 2 and 3 of Star Wars. This takes place shortly before Revenge of the Sith, which is episode 3, my favorite movie. And it kind of follows Anakin Skywalker, again, the guy who becomes Darth Vader, um, as he is in between his transition between the Jedi and the Sith. And I don't know much else about it, but I have been having this TV on my TBR for months now. I really haven't talked about it in any of my videos, but I love Anakin Skywalker. He is my favorite character in Star Wars, and I'm always looking to see uh, more about him during between episodes 2 and 3. So, really excited to pick this up. And that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have last month's library book haul linked down below, as well as Lisa's channel and the Goodreads group if you guys would like to join and check Lisa out for yourselves. I also have all my social media links linked down below if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, my, or my blog. They are all linked down below as always. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye!